She is the Executive Director of Sales and Marketing, DLF Home Developers Limited from India. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. There is so much of beauty and brilliance in this room, I suddenly need sunglasses. <laughs> I have never in my life ever been for a kitty party, but I must tell you all, this is my favorite kitty party, this Saturday morning today, and I just don't want this to end. I just want to keep hearing each one of you. And I was just sitting there and I was just thinking, I said, I wish I was in the audience. I'm so humbled to be here. And probably if I was in the audience, I would have an opportunity to keep asking them more and more questions. All of all the women in this room, I am amazed, are stars in their own field. And I think a big round of applause to everybody who's in this room. We are here to talk about personal example and belief. Um, as far as my journey goes, uh, you know, uh, I think a lot of women who are in this room uh, are, you know, people who have had support from their family, friends, of course, God and destiny play a very important role. We cannot deny that. And so everybody is in this room. There would also be a lot of women, you know, who are probably born with that fighting spirit where, okay, you're going to pull me down. I'm going to come back twice as strong. And, you know, I salute all of those here as well. But I think for the first time sitting here and listening to so many uh, life coaches, I think what I want to do when I'm out of this room is I want to help as many people enter this hall here, this peacock hall or whatever it is, and spread their feathers and, you know, enjoy their journey even better. So um, I, I think I've been lucky. I was born in an army family and I traveled all over India. Uh, the globe has shrunk, so half my family is here and the other half is in the U.S., so, you know, one keeps moving around. And um, uh, in 1991, when I d decided to join real estate, everybody in my family was shocked because there are either doctors or there are, um, you know, army officers and, you know, so they were like, real estate, oh my God, and that to marketing and sales. Well, um, uh, you know, one never stopped. One kept trying to do better and better all through, you know, VUCA doesn't affect any other industry as much as real estate. So there's a lot of volatility. There's a lot of uh, uncertainty. There's a lot of complexity. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, um, adaptability required, but yes. So as I step into my 27th year, uh, it's a passion, I love what I do. And I think uh, the 27 years that I kept moving was purely on resilience. So what I would like to share with everybody is that never ever give up. If you like doing something, just keep doing that. And uh, I went ahead and did my doctorate in marketing management of real estate also. There also, I was probably the only woman. And, you know, sometimes you even question your own belief that, am I doing the right thing? I mean, is this even required? But then just be at it. And at the end of it, when you look back, you feel so good. And uh, uh, all I would like to say here is that, uh, you know, um, resilience and uh, integrity and don't leave these values, just stick to your values and keep doing your own thing. And God bless everybody in this room and thank you so much. So happy to be with all of you on this Saturday morning. Thank you.